I'm doing an edging where I'm changing color every stitch. I joined in my corner here and what I'm doing is I'm going to make sure that I work over the yarn that I'm not using. I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over with the white till I have two loops on my hook. Then I'm going to pick up my pink and yarn over and pull through with the pink. Now I'm going to make sure that my white is here. I'm going to work over it when I insert my hook with my pink. Then I'm going to grab my white and pull it through. Now I'm going to make sure that my pink is lit, sitting on top of my stitches. Insert my hook, yarn over and pull up the white. Pick up my pink and pull through. Now if you do this, if you make sure that your color, unused color, is lying on top, when you insert your hook and pull through, and you pull through with that color that you laid on top, you're going to get a very nice back. Insert my hook, yarn over, grab my other color, yarn over and pull through. Now make sure that my white is sitting up here. Insert my hook with my pink, yarn over and grab my white and pull through. It's a little tricky to get your hands to work together, but it does make a very nice, unusual edging. If you work over your unused color, your front will look like this and your back will look like this. Very nice design. And the trick to that is all in the carrying your color. Now your yarns are going to get tangled, you can see. So every now and then you're going to have to switch them around to untangle them. However, I've done afghans using this method and if you are careful with your skeins and you keep them one on each side and then when you, you switch, you just switch them off it won't be too bad. So as I said, here's your front and here's your back.